we tend to be long-term investors and don't like to be tactical, but I'd call out a, a couple of things. I think people forget that Democrats have historically been more sympathetic to tariffs. The unions are still very important uh, in the Democratic Party. And historically, remember, Republicans were more free trade than Democrats. And that's not as true as it used to be. But I think there's a more support for tariffs and uh, prohibitions than in the Democratic House. And so that would generally increase the risk of tariffs. The second one I'd call out is Republicans are mad at the technology firms. And I think there is some tactical risk that there's going to be new uh, regulation, maybe even uh, anti-monopoly attacks on Amazon uh, that could come from the Republican Party. I don't think that gets talked about as not enough as it should. Huh. The latter has not been well articulated yet, has it, uh, Charles, at least from Congress? No, that's what I'm saying. I, I think it hasn't been explored. If you go into the history and you look at the uh, anti-IBM antitrust moves, if you go back and look at the anti-Microsoft moves, people do not like the big, large tech firm that is having a big impact on mom and pom. Amazon, Amazon is putting small retailers out of work. The small business people around the country are mad at Amazon, and they don't like the, the preferential treatment that Amazon's gotten, and Trump doesn't like the liberal politics out of Amazon. So I, I think there is a real chance of that in the next two years. Jim, which policy do you think is most in play as Wall Street turns its attention to the results tomorrow? Is it trade, as Charles was talking about? Is it infrastructure spending? which is yet to be announced, <laughs> tax reform perhaps? I'd say all three. Uh, if the blue wave materializes, I think it also adds the volatility of an uncertain future for not just the administration's agenda and trade-related policies, but maybe the, uh, the leader of that administration as well. So I think we're going to see volatility and disruption right through uh, the midterm elections, no matter what the outcome. That said, uh, Wait, as noted, wh we what think... Are you, what are you yes. talking about with the blue wave? You're talking about... a. a Democrat sweep? You're talking about the blue tsunami or just a split nope, house nope, and Senate? <laughs> a split house and Senate. We think Got that it. that uh, could definitely create some, some uh, unnecessary but uh, likely uncertainty in terms of domestic politics and, how's it, and how it plays out in the market. But we continue to think it's a fool's errand to bet against a strong, well-employed U.S. consumer even as it probably remains foolhardy not to build some of your uh, short-term, near-term tactical defenses in terms of short-duration investment-grade quality bonds and, and even some cash reserves.